Welcome to the second part of this five part video series on A to Z PowerPoint tips, tricks and hacks. I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. We share creative PowerPoint ideas to help professionals like you create engaging presentations. F is for Format Painter. Let's say you created this beautiful 3D button in PowerPoint. Don't worry if you don't know how to do it. I've included a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do it in the iCard here. So go ahead and watch the tutorial after you finish watching this video. Now I want to apply the same format to these two shapes as well. How do I do that? It's very simple using Format Painter. You select the source shape, then go to Home, and here in clipboard, you will find this option called Format Painter. You click on it and that copies the formatting of the source object. Now I can click on the destination object and that object will have the same properties as the source object. Let me do that again. Select this, go to Format Painter and click on the destination and the job is done. It works well even for text. Here you have stylized text. You select the text. Then go to Format Painter that copies the formatting and then click on the destination text and here you have the formatting pasted. G is for Group and Insert Picture. Now take a look at this grid here. I have created this using multiple square shapes. I can group all of these and insert a picture to create this beautiful effect. Let me show you how it is done. Let me delete this. I am going to first select all of these shapes Press Ctrl G, which is the shortcut for group. Then let me apply some effects to it. Right click, go to Format Shape, go to the Effects option. First, I am going to apply 3D Rotation. Let me use this simple perspective. Then let me go to 3D Format and to Top Bevel, let me apply one of these options. And then I am going to insert a picture to fill this group. Let me go to the next page. Here I have the picture. Right click. I'm going to cut this, then go back to this picture here, select this group, right click and say format shape, go to fill and say picture or texture fill and here I can define the picture source. Either I can insert a new picture from a file, since I've already copied that picture, it's there in the clipboard, so I can say picture sources clipboard. Now I have this beautiful image inserted onto the group. You can use this simple technique to create some really beautiful effects in PowerPoint. H is for hide your slide. There are times you may want to hide a slide or a set of slides in your presentation either because they are not relevant or you created them as extra slides just in case somebody from the audience asks you a specific question. For the regular audience, you don't even have to show those slides. So the question is, how do you hide a few specific slides in your presentation? It's again fairly simple. First, you go to the slide sorter view. You click on this option here. Then you decide which is the slide that needs to be hidden. You right click on that slide and say hide slide. That's it. When you go to the main presentation, go to slideshow, you will see that this is the first slide, this is the second slide. Now as per the sequence, the next slide should be the teal colored slide. Now see what happens when I click. You can see that it goes directly to slide 3 hiding that specific slide. Now let us say I want to recall that specific slide that I hid earlier. How do I do it? It's fairly simple. I just need to type the number of the slide and hit enter and I can access that slide. In this case you can see that that specific slide is slide number 3. So I am going to write 3 and hit enter and that hidden slide is shown. This is a handy technique that I use regularly and it always creates a pleasant surprise every time I use it. Before we go to the next alphabet, let me quickly remind you of this useful resource called PowerPoint Foundation Course. If you want to get confidence in working with PowerPoint and create presentations that get appreciation and results, I highly recommend you check out this 13 and a half hours comprehensive course on PowerPoint. I is for ink to math. We all know that it is quite painful to type mathematical equations in PowerPoint. Fortunately, PowerPoint has an elegant solution that solves the problem quite nicely. Let me show you how. The first thing we need for this is to insert a new tab called the Draw tab. For that, let me right click on any of the tabs that I see here and go to this option called Customize the Ribbon. And you can see this option here on the right 
called customize the ribbon. Here you can see all the tabs that are included as part of PowerPoint ribbon. Here I see that draw is unchecked. So I'm going to check this and say OK. Now you can see I have a new tab called draw. I'm going to use this to make my life easier. Go to draw. I'm going to pick up this tool here in drawing tools to write my maths equation. Let me click on it. And let us say I want to write a plus b the whole square equals a square plus b square plus 2ab. Now you can see my handwriting is not anything great. Now I'm going to convert this into a math equation quite simply. All I need to do is to first use this tool called as the lasso tool. Click on it and then select all of these text that I have written earlier. Then I click on this option called ink to math. As soon as I did that, you can see that my scribble has been converted into a clear mathematical equation. You can do that to shapes as well. If you want to draw something out on your slides, let us say, let me pick up the tool here once again and let me draw a shape which is approximately a square. I can go to the same lasso tool, select this shape and then go to the second option here called ink to shape and then PowerPoint does its magic and it is converted into a proper square or a rectangle. So you can use the power of draw tab to draw some live diagrams or to write some live equations and make it easy for your audience to follow what you've written. J is for save as JPEG or even save as PNG. Let me show you how this works. Here I have a slide. Let us say I want to save this entire slide as a picture, be it JPEG or PNG. All you need to do for that is go to file, go to save as and give it a name and then choose this option here as JPEG or you can choose PNG as well. I'm going to choose JPEG and say save and you are prompted with this dialog box which asks you which slides do you want to export. You can say all slides or just this one. I'm going to say just this one and I've got my slide saved as a JPEG image. Now let me insert the JPEG image that I just saved. Let me go to insert pictures and click on this device because I saved it on desktop. Let me go to desktop and the image is called A to Z and say insert. Now you can see that the image is inserted onto my slide. This whole thing is one image. Now instead of the whole slide saved as an image, what if I want to have only a certain portion of the slide saved as an image? It's possible and let me show you how. First, select the portion that you want to save as picture. Let me click and drag my cursor across and I've got all these elements selected. Right click and say save as picture. Now let me go to desktop and give this a name called as sample and then say save. Now this portion is saved as an image. Let me go to the new slide and then go to insert pictures this device because we saved it on desktop. And let us see we have sample here and say insert. Now just that portion is inserted as an image. This can come in quite handy when you design your slides. If you like these tips, then you will really love the other tips that are part of this video series. So go ahead and click on this link to watch the video right now. These are some practical tips that every PowerPoint user should know to create impactful slides with minimal effort. Go ahead and click on this video and watch it right now.